Hey everyone, as you can see, we are in Disney Springs tonight. We're gonna go grab dinner at the Edison. If you haven't been here, this place is awesome. We've been here a couple times and we're excited to take you with us with Caleb and our niece, Jaden. Yeah, let's eat. As you can see inside the Edison, it's an industrial gothic themed restaurant and a live entertainment venue as well. So the theme is more of a abandoned industrial warehouse that you can see is still kind of has some inner workings in here. You definitely have Nas to steampunk, a little art deco as well. I think the theme is awesome in here. And not to mention, I love live entertainment as well. So we just ordered some appetizers and we put in our cocktail order, but little Caleb is very hungry. So we already got his food going. He's enjoying his little fruit cup right now. But the kids menu here is really cool. They call it the Junior Scientist Patented Meal. And in addition to his fruit cup, he's going to have tomato soup and grilled cheese. And he's going to finish that up with a chocolate chip cookie. That sucks. I will share with you, don't worry. So before dinner, I'm going to start with a cocktail. This is the Electric Mule. It is Reka Vodka, Lemon Juice, Strawberry and Lemongrass Cordial, and Q Ginger Beer. I really like this. It's light and refreshing, like a mule. It's got that nice ginger beer, but the strawberry and the lemongrass gives it a little bit of a different flavor, which is nice. I kind of wish the ginger beer had a little bit more bite to it, but overall, it's really, really good. So I'm actually starting with the Leather and Tweed. This drink has Knob Creek Bourbon, Bronca Menta, Simple Syrup, and Col Ila Scotch. So this drink, it uh, has a ton of different flavors coming at you. So I really don't get any kind of bourbon up front. I definitely get the Scotch up front, which a you of Scotch fan, you'll definitely like that. And that mint flavor is definitely shining through. On the back end, you definitely get the bourbon, but it's not that first flavor that I like to get right up front, especially when you lead with that as your main ingredient. All in all, I like it, but it's not going to be your typical bourbon drink. We're starting off with one of the signature appetizers that we've had a couple times and we love getting it every single time. And that's the DB Clothesline Candy Bacon. As you can see, love the presentation of what they do here. They hold it up by a clothespin. The flavors are so good and so sweet. And then they also surprise you with a few little accompaniments with it as well. It comes with fruit mustarda, which I don't know what that is, but it tastes really good, and sweet and spicy pickles. Go ahead and go for my first piece of bacon here. This bacon is so nicely prepared. It's not overly crispy, it's not super soggy. It's got a good flavor. I wish it was a little bit more on that candied side, um, but it's got a lot of good ground black pepper on the outside, which really gives it a lot of flavor. I like it. Let me try it with the mustard, what was it, fruit mustarda. That is definitely the way to go. Use that little dip, that fruit mustarda. Gives it a lot of good flavor that I was saying was kind of lacking. Definitely the way to go. And this isn't all we got. We also splurged and got the deviled eggs. This is Central Florida farm raised eggs garnished with crispy potatoes and speck. Looks really good. I'm gonna let Steve review this one. So what I really like about these deviled eggs, strong mustard flavor up front. But the fact that they put the crispy potatoes on top gives it a little bit more texture. And I really like that. The flavor's pretty good and you get a little bit of heat on the back as well. I like these. I think these are pretty good. I decided to order a second cocktail, so I ordered the namesake cocktail, the Edison. Woodford Reserve Bourbon, Belle de Brillet, Pear Brandy, Lemon Juice, Honey Cordial. It smells a little bit sweeter. across as a like a bourbon smash like really fruity a little bit flavorful in that um, now that I've tried a little bit more the honey's coming through so almost like a brown derby 
Overall, I like it. It's refreshing. It's not going to be your straightforward bourbon drink, but again, this is something that is going to be nicely paired with the salad that I'm bringing. And it was at this point, unbeknownst to us, our microphone became unplugged and the audio for the remainder of the footage we shot was unusable. So we're gonna go ahead and switch over to a voiceover for the rest of this video. For dinner, I ordered the Edison Burger, which is a signature beef blend of sirloin, short rib, and brisket topped with white cheddar, crispy onions, smoked bacon, house-made pickles, lettuce, tomato, and special sauce, and it's served with hand-cut fries. This is one of my favorite burgers on Disney property. We've been to the Edison numerous times. I always have the intentions of ordering something different, trying something new, but this burger always calls me back. It is so delicious. And that blend of the sirloin and the short rib and brisket really come together to create a flavorful, tender burger that is just, it's, it's so wonderful. And the crispy onions and that bacon served on top adds that extra crispiness to it. It's just absolutely wonderful. I love it. And the hand cut fries are perfect. And then for my dinner cocktail, I went with the Edison Vintage cocktail menu and ordered a Gimlet. This was Stoli Elite Vodka, Lime Juice, and Simple Syrup. It was so delicious, and the lime juice perfectly balanced out the Simple Syrup, so it was light, refreshing, it was delicious. As Mike said, we splurged on the appetizers, so that meant that I went a little bit more conservative for my dinner. So for my dinner, I ordered the burrata salad. This has burrata, arugula, bourbon candied walnuts, dried cranberries, and champagne vinaigrette. And then I enhanced it with some grilled chicken. Overall, the flavors of the salad are very good. The chicken provides a little bit of protein, which gives it a little bit more of a dinner salad to me. But the flavors in the bourbon candy walnuts and the dried cranberries really, really paired well with the burrata. I would say this is an amazing salad if that's what you're looking to get for your entree. After we both enjoyed our entrees, Mike and I definitely tapped out. We were very full with the two appetizers that we had, the wonderful entrees, but our niece Jaden was adventurous. So she tried the old fashioned shake. She did get the chocolate and let me tell you, it was very good because I did have a sip of that. Caleb enjoyed the whipped cream on top and of course our niece Jaden was in heaven. All right, so that wraps up dinner at the Edison. We got a collection of a lot of different things tonight. Yeah. A little bit different from what we normally do. I normally don't order a salad, but those appetizers are so good. They are and so good. Let's be honest, I did have some Mike's burger as well. Mm -hmm. So did Caleb, so and it was I, that good. And I always get that burger. That Edison burger it is such a home run for me. I love it. And that salad was a nice change up of things as well. One other thing I like about the cocktail menu that they have here, so they definitely have authentic, specific to this location cocktails that they've actually come up with, but you also have the classic cocktails that are always my go-tos as well, after I'm adventurous and try one of the local ones here. A lot of really great variety, both with cocktails and with food. Like we said, we did have to tap out because we were so full, but our niece really enjoyed that shake. You liked it. It's good, yeah. And Caleb loved it. But ultimately, a really great night. Honestly, I can't wait to come back because we always have such a great time here. So have you been to the Edison? Let us know in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy. enjoy.